okay so now manam yeah we are going to yeah we are learning native hana tutorial in this we are go, we are learning sql statements how to write different sql statements in the hana modeling okay so today's class we are going to discuss on join operators in our past sessions we seen different uh, data types and then different ddl dml statements create in setup data and then we return we gone through different select clauses okay how to write select top okay distinct material distinct group by join by uh, sorry group by order by different statements we written we sorry we gone through and now in this session we are going to learn about joins okay so different join so we are going to discuss about inner join left outer join right outer join these three topics we are going to learn in today's session so the first one is inner join okay so let's i will explain on the on the what is on the slide then we go into the system to see how it exactly works okay so to explain this a join statement i have taken two tables in my system i have one table sales table with six records okay and i have another table in my system with material information so in my sales table i have three different materials m1 m2 and m3 okay and for these three materials i maintained one table called text table and here i written the the descriptions m1 means material 1 m2 means material 2 so this is my text table of my material okay now coming to uh, select statement uh, join statement so how exactly we write join statement to join these two tables now we are going to learn it okay so select a dot star what it means so first of all what is a Uh, here I don't have anything, right? Uh, yeah. How to explain this? Okay. Let's uh, go into the system and then we will see what is this exactly. So in our system, under the table, under in our schema, we have two tables: sales one, sales two. We are currently working with the sales two table. Okay. But uh, to our example. to make our example work now i need one more table called material so what i am going to do is now i am going to create a new table first okay i am going to create a new material table i can create in two ways one is via graphically or else by creating a statement create um table i will drag and drop here and then change my table name tm underscore material so schema name followed by table name and then column information material and uh, varchar 18 comma description and varchar 60 so this is the first column is to have store the material information and second column description is store my uh, text of my material my text may contain non unicode characters that's why i define it as a n varchar we learn about this on first session okay that's it and uh, what is the key here my first column acts as a key so uh, primary key keyword primary key keyword makes my first column as a key for this table execute so create statement execute successfully if i refresh on my tables you see t underscore material table came but as of now no data in this uh, table so now i am going to insert records insert into t underscore material better to drag and drop to get material information values m1 material 1 semicolon so i told you right um okay to make it to see is yeah so i am going to insert first record m1 is a material name 
material uh, material information material one is the description to my record in the same way i want to generate one more record m1 and m2 m2 is the second one and material 2 is its description so if i uh, say why i given semicolon to you know when i have multiple statements on my sql to differentiate each each statement i need to uh, separate with a semicolon click on execute two records got inserted now go to right click on it uh, table open content so i can see two different records on my table okay this is enough so far okay so now i have two different tables in my table in my database to work on so first is select star from the sales underscore two so sales underscore two contains six records when i write in this way what will happen my six records will come here now what we are going to do is we are going to give some alias name this alias name we already learned in our previous session when creating new columns in my output screen okay how i am giving alias name to my new columns in the same way i can give an alias name to my table also okay so instead of mentioning this entire table name i can simply as a okay so if when i give a dot star it means nothing but whatever table this is the same table i am referring a means from the all the columns from the table uh, syntax uh, a dot star it's not working uh, say so, uh, incorrect syntax near a column one of one mm. a dot for example doc underscore number it's working star is not why star not working mm, yeah a dot star also working something wrong here okay uh, so what is it uh, star is same a dot star also same why because a is nothing but is a alias name to my table okay when i say star it means data from this table even a dot star also refers to the same thing a means the same table okay a dot material nothing but from this sales to table i want material information okay so at the end what we need to understand is a is nothing but alias name to my table name okay why we give an alias name to my table why i given means if i have if i am in my select statement if i have more than one table i am using to remember those you know to to uh, men what to say mm to uh, you know mention it in a simple words we used it as uh, alias names okay so coming back to our uh, sta our join statement okay so in my join can here in my select statement i taken a uh, alias name to my table name t1 sales a so when i say a dot star it means i am for trying to fetch all the columns from my table then comma b dot description what is b b is my another table okay i said now b is my another table so what is the table name t underscore material is my second table so for my second table i given alias name as b so from this b table which field i am trying to fetch i am trying to fetch description column so from a call from a call, a table i am fetching all the data and from b table i am bringing only description column okay and then so in that way so i am bringing data from two different tables okay to bring data from two different tables we need to perform join condition between these two so to write the join condition we are learning the syntax so select a dot from table a i need all columns from table b i need only description column so first of all after select we need to write which columns we need so that part is completed and then from table we know this is the initial table which is my base table okay and then i am joining this base table with another table by using join keyword okay by using join keyword so from table a join from table b when you perform join operation you need to perform what was the join key also so you need to perform a matching column between first table and second table here the matching column between first table and second table is material the material from the first table 
is equivalent to the segment uh, material or from the secondary table so that's why you are performing on we need to write on condition and where we need to mention which column in the first table is equal to the which column from the second table so on a dot material is equal to b dot material so same select fields information and then from table and what is the second join table and the join key in between uh, after the on operator so this is how we write syntax for the join condition okay and the return some join or inner join brings only the matching records from both tables so this is important in uh, interviews also they will ask what is the difference between join and inner uh, you know left outer join right outer join so when you say inner join the mentioning this particular uh, uh, you know statement is very important inner join or join brings only matching data from both the tables so what is exactly mean by matching data so when first record from the first table will join to my second record to my second table m1 record so for m1 we have equivalent m1 on my second table so it will fetch the corresponding material one on my first record then now go to second record second record m1 is matching with my m1 record from my second table so it brings the corresponding material information on my description column and the second third record m2 is matching with my m2 on my second table so it will bring this material to information on my third record but comes to fourth record m3 is do i have any m3 matching m3 on my second table no if it doesn't there then it won't fetch this fourth record at all that's called here matching record from both table based on join key brings only matching records means if the particular keyword on which i am using on condition if it matches between both tables then only the record will come into my output or else it won't come okay so let's see here how it works so select a start a dot material comma b dot uh, description from a from table a join i am joining with my t underscore material um t underscore material table as b after that i need to write on condition a dot material is equal to b dot material okay if i click on execute you see m1 okay. from a i given only i am fetching only material information that's why only material column came and from b i am bringing description column it came so m1 five records came but actually in my sales data i have six records sixth record is m3 but this m3 not available on my second table so it join condition fails that's why sixth record doesn't come into my output okay so this is how it is um execute select uh, a dot uh, instead of a dot material a dot star okay in this case what will happen from a to a table it is fetching all data and second table it is fetching the description table and important point on this join condition is why should i give star here for example if i given select star comma b dot description star means fetching all data from my table a okay sales table so if i click on execute i am getting error what it is saying sometimes it is giving errors nice description one description what is this why got description two times Uh, okay fine. okay then leave it material for example instead of writing a dot material if i written simply material material you see uh, invalid column and material
Mm. Yeah, this is the error I want here. Okay. So before the before each column information, what is the need of mentioning the alias name? Here I am clearly telling B dot material. So what is the need of mentioning the uh, alias name before each column? What, why we are mentioned here is, for example, material. This material column is available on table A as well as on table B also with the same technical name. Here you see the column name is material. In my second table also column name is material. So in your select statement, if you mention only material, then system doesn't understand whether to bring this material information from first table or the second table. So that's why column ambiguity defined. So when you get this kind of error message, you need to understand, okay, it is having uh, same column is available on multiple tables. So you have to specify from which table you need to fetch this material. If you want to fetch it from A table, give A dot. Or if you want to bring it from B table, give B dot. Okay. Or else you can write, uh, if you want to, from both places, you can write two different columns, a dot material comma b dot material. In that way, you can bring uh, data into two different columns. Okay. So this is what I want to uh, tell you here. So I hope uh, you understand the join condition. <coughs> join condition brings only data, matching data between these two tables. Now let's uh, jump into the left outer join. Okay. So what is left outer join? So first of all, left outer join is a combination of two things. One is um, here in the on the note I written clearly. Okay, how it works. So left outer join brings matching records from both tables based on join key. So this statement is nothing but our inner join. Okay. So when it comes to this uh, these two tables, uh, what is the join key here? On, I applied the join key on material. Statement is exactly same. A select A dot star, B dot description from table A and left outer join B. Instead of join, simply I written left outer join. That's only changing on my select statement. But how this works is important. Okay. So first part, this left outer join works in two different parts. First part is inner join. So it first initially checks uh, the matching condition between table 1 and table 2. So first record, second record, third record. All the three records matches with my second table. So you are getting three records output on uh, three records as output on your screen. Okay. So when coming to the second part is un plus unmatched records from the left table. This is called left outer join. Okay. Plus is there, right? This is important. Unmatched record means these three records are not matched with my second table. Means M3 is not available on my our second table. Even though this is a fail condition, system will fetch this information also to the output. Then we call this kind of output as left outer join. Left outer join means inner join plus leftover records from the left table. Okay, means a matching condition records plus leftover fields for leftover records from the second table. Okay, this is left outer join. In the same way, we have right outer join. It is very simple. Right outer join also works in the same way. This is also two parts. First part is inner join plus unmatched records from the right right table. Okay. So when it comes to right outer join, first three records are matching with my second record. Okay, second table M1 to M1, M1 to M1, M2 to M2, and M3 is not there. Okay, so third record not satisfying, or sorry, fourth record not satisfying, fifth record not satisfying, sixth record not satisfying. So it won't fetch data uh, from four to six. But what was next? The next one is. Since it is a right outer join, it fetches all data from the right side table, unmatched records from the right table. So what are my unmatched records here? M4 is not there. So it is trying to fetch M4 information also onto my output screen. Okay. So when coming to this M4, uh, okay, uh, when going one step, uh, yeah, my M4. So out of my, out, in my output table, 
document number created on material quantity unit all these are coming from which table table 1 and uh, this only description is coming from table 2 okay so unmatched records from right table means only this uh, description will be filled and the remaining all fields will be filled as null here in hana side question mark means null okay that's it in uh, left outer join also if you see here left outer join means inner join plus unmatched records from the left table so five four five six records are from the left table and uh, we don't have corresponding matching record on the second table means description doesn't fill if it doesn't have any data then system will give null here it means question mark okay this is important so simply try to run these uh, two statements on our uh, sql select a dot material b dot material from instead of join i am simply writing left outer here so syntax is very simple but how this exactly works understanding is very important okay what is my output my output here is like this m3 and this is question mark why have what is why it is coming like this why because on my second table i don't have information of m3 that's the reason my join condition not working here <coughs> okay uh, and if i go to left yeah so let me try to so here nothing to explain much on the system on the you know select statement wise but understanding this you know how exactly joins work is very important okay so to get the more knowledge better always go to one excel sheet and prepare your own you know content and try to write the select statement on your screens on your uh, on the uh, sql prompt okay so i hope i explained clearly only but uh, just uh, i'm giving one last uh, you know explanation one last time so document number material quantity here material description and my output needs document number material quantity description this is the uh, interview point of time this is very important okay they will ask about joins okay uh, what is the difference between uh, what are the different type of joins we have and how they work they will ask then you need to explain we have three different uh, three uh, yeah full outer is also there so we have inner join left outer right outer join and inner join brings only matching data left outer join brings uh, matching data plus leftover records from the left table and the right over join uh, right outer join brings matching records between both tables and left left over records from the right table okay so clearly you need to mention if you mention in this way then they won't ask any further questions okay but if you say something hesitated while trying to say now then they will go for further uh, in-depth questions one last record here okay so first we are going to learn about inner join okay inner join what is inner join inner join brings only matching data from both the tables it means m1 here matching with m1 here m2 here matching with m2 here okay and m3 here does not matching with any data so my output is this record record by record always select runs on record based record by record so this record will come and the corresponding data from the right hand table so for m1 the corresponding record is material 1 so it will come here so first record completed then system goes to second record it will go it will check this m2 with the second table 
and yeah i have m2 then fetch this information also so this record all this from the first table and corresponding data from the second table okay and system will try to serve m3 try to search here so matching key doesn't not found so system doesn't bring this information for example if i have 1004 with m4 2400 then system will go for this record and m4 is matching with m4 then system will try to bring this record also so what is happening system will process the data record by record okay record by record and uh, uh, whichever record which uh, wherever we have the matching key system will fetch only those records into your output and very important um, and very very important point okay here to understand about joins hmm? for example this particular table is having let's say one more column object version obj verse in bw terminology we use this obj verse okay object version mm, a a a and i have one more with the b material mm, for like this what is the difference between active version and modified version uh, in the active version we have space comma four in the b version completely followed by material followed by four immediately okay if i have data in this way then how exactly join works it's very important to understand okay join uh, what happens first record will work exactly m1 is matching with m1 it fetches this data m2 here matching with m2 it is fetching here the second record m3 trying to get the record here nothing is there so system will discard this uh, you know column and m4 so trying to search here so m4 to m4 it searched and it found the record so material 4 came here system doesn't stop here it will go further to check any other record is there with the same m4 or not okay then in that say way m4 uh, my cursor comes to second record also since it is matching with my second record also system will bring my second record to into my output okay generally you are expecting since i have three different uh, materials you may expect only three different output uh, columns uh, on your report output but system will fetch fourth column also why because your matching key is not unique here generally in the uh, join conditions in the join conditions we make sure always the join key may creates the unique combination but here it is not creating unique combination here from the left hand side one m4 is equal to two records from your right hand side in this way it generates two records as your output okay so that's the reason we have four records here this is the important point to understand join all does not bring always single record from the right hand side join brings multiple records based upon your join condition for example leave it Uh, this is one scenario now to make you you know understand better what i am going to do is take the same scenario in a different way instead of having m4 as a second record here let's see we have 1005 with the same m4 with the 500 here okay then what will happen this also this also will come in the same way okay so what will happen system will go to this record yes matching record m4 found here and then it filled with information material 4 oh, sorry i need to delete this statement yeah like this it will work okay so join operator always finds based upon the key so here material is your key okay it will go to the second table identify the corresponding record with that key and whatever matching here it will come and uh, show it on your new columns like uh, from the uh, columns on the right hand side table but at any point of time the matching key 
is duplicated here. It means uh, for the same key, if we have multiple records on the right hand side table, then your data will be doubled here. So when uh, initially when you total the four values, the total is 1000. But in this scenario, what happened? No, sorry, if we explode 300, the total is actually 700. But in this scenario, because of having duplicate data on your right hand side table, your output is 1100, which is not the correct expected value. Correct? That's the reason always make sure when you're applying join condition, make sure the join you are applying makes your combination unique. Okay? In this scenario, to make this issue correct, what I need to write? I need to write where condition, where b dot obj verse is equal to a. I need to write in this way. Whenever I write in this way, then what will happen? M4 to M4, it will, it is match, it is finding the matching key and then it is applying this where condition also, where object version is a. So you will get this record. Okay. And when it comes to the second M4 combination, this object obj version is not a sorry not here it is m actually so it is not a so system doesn't bring this information by because of you written this where condition on your select statement okay this is how you have to handle when you have duplicate records i hope uh, this is uh, understandable in the same way uh, for left outer join and right outer join also works if the join condition is not unique, it will try to fetch multiple data. It will try to multiple your number of records, output records. So use carefully. Okay. Let me know any questions and comments. Okay. Thank you. So this is about left outer and right outer join. That's these are all and we have full outer also. I am not explaining. Okay. What is full outer join? Full outer join means it will fetch data from left hand side. It will fetch data from the right hand side also. Okay, for the matching records, uh, just a second, um, just to let me explain full outer also, okay, so full outer what will happen, just simply I need to write full outer, so what is full outer, let me explain here on the screen first, then we go, we see it on the system, so what is full outer, full outer is combination of inner join, left outer join, right outer join, Okay, it's a combination of these three is nothing but full outer join. So let's see what was the output of it. First inner join. So when it goes to inner join. So what is inner join here? M1 record, M2 record, M4 record. So this is the inner join output. Okay, next. And what is left outer join output? Inner join plus leftover fields on the right side table. So this record is a left table. This record is part of left outer join. And whichever fields are coming from right hand side, those the, I will get question mark. So this is left outer join. Not only this record, combination of inner and left outer. Okay, no? don't take it in different way. And next is uh, left outer, left over, record. From left. Mm. Okay. So what is right outer join now? Left over records from the right right side table. So in this case, uh, let's say we have one more record M5 with object version A material. So when it comes to write, uh, one minute. so what are the leftover records on the right side table? M5. For M5 material, there is no combination available on the left hand side. So this particular record acts as left outer material 5 okay and uh, these are all the fields coming from first table all those will be filled as null okay so this is left over record from right table 
So now full outer join is combination of these three. So total, the how many records I am getting? Total five records I am getting. Okay. So this records plus this. So let's see how it works on the system. Um, let me take all data from table A and uh, from B table, this one execute. You see, now I am getting all the six records from my first table. You see, one to six records. But out of these six records, M3 not available on my second table. Okay, if I go here, on my second table, I have four, three records, M1, M2, M4. M3 is not available, right? That's why M3 I am getting blank with description here. And the last record, M4, which is available on the right side table, but not on the left side table. This is also coming. This is full. So only these kind of four joints uh, we regularly use in our, uh, you know, day-to-day -day life. In our, you know, so if you know about all this, then this is uh, more than enough. Okay. Um, finally, an assignment. Okay, right. Uh, we thought of taking assignment in this session. So let me try to give some assignment here. Uh, 